Manager's report. Uh -huh. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, <clears throat> the State Department of Transportation will hold a public informational meeting on Wednesday, September 26th, that's this Wednesday, at 7 p.m. at the Marston School uh, to present materials regarding the reconstruction or replacement of the Hampton Harbor Bridge. Huh. Either or has not been decided on yet. So it may be a reconstruction or it may be a complete replacement. Please come. Observe what's going on. <clears throat> Have an opportunity to uh, review whatever plans there are currently for the state and uh, try to support something to be done for the bridge. It's the number one red line bridge in the state and has been now for a number of years. The uh, Seacoast Cancer Cluster Commission will meet on October 10th, 2018 at 10 a.m. in room 205 of the Legislative Office Building in Concord. Those interested, please go. Please support the commission and its work. Uh, we continue to move forward on the replacement of uh, sewers and drains on Ann's Lane. Please find alternate routes so you are not delayed in your required travel. Work will continue through mid-November, which means periodic closings of the uh, facility, the, the roadway will occur during that period of time, right up until mid-November. Uh, and be careful, people are out there working in the street, so it's kind of a dangerous situation. Uh, the State Department of Transportation is working on the Tide Mill Bridge on Route 101. Uh, they have now put up traffic, temporary traffic lights, so Good. traffic may be held up for a few minutes, but in fact it seems to be flowing and flowing fairly well. Uh, it's, it's the only time I think it's, it's kind of slow is uh, I noticed in the afternoon uh, between 5 and 6 o'clock, there tends to be a lot of traffic backing up coming from the west towards the bridge. Ooh. Oh. Help. Um, <laughs> the State Department of Transportation will shortly begin paving on Route 101 in Hampton. As you probably noticed, there's an awful lot of work going on in various intersections. They're cleaning up the pavement. They're cleaning up the, the ground surrounding the pavement so they can, in fact, uh, start their work and get it done as quickly as possible. They intend to try to do that this year. Ah. The current refuse collection policy, as was suggested by the board, mm -hmm. is uh, currently under review. And as you can see, I have a, a few pages of review going on. Yes. There's probably about 50 pages here. Good. Um, I'm hoping that by our next meeting, I'm going to have something for the board to review so you can put your teeth into the things you've been talking about, so to speak. The um, contract uh, for assessing is currently in the Department of Revenue Administration. They are required to do a 10-day review of the contract that was proposed. As soon as that contract is received and approved by the Department of Revenue, we'll be in the process of signing the contract and issuing it out to MRI. Uh, we also have, uh, I, re I, I was requested to make a report on the Colony Motel at Hampton Beach. And I've given each of the selectmen a memo from uh, town council. Uh, we have, in fact, talked to the conservator that was appointed in Massachusetts to conserve the property. And he is looking at appointing a conservative here. We've asked to have the building boarded. And we've asked them to hire a security agency to check the building at least daily. Yes. So there's nobody on the property. Good. Uh, they've indicated that they wish to do that. Uh, and what I would like to do is I would like to request in accordance with town council's memorandum, uh, the board to approve town council to be able to go to the superior court, uh, excuse me, probate court, to assist in the appointment of, of an administrator for this this function, so that we can move this forward without any hiccups, if I can phrase it that way. We want this to move quite quickly and quite effectively. So, I'll make that motion. Do we need that? Second. Yes, it needs to be a motion. Okay, move to authorize town attorney in the name of the board to file a petition in the New Hampshire Circuit Court Probate Division for the appointment of a New Hampshire guardian of the estate of Daniel Ferdin, if necessary, to enable the buildings and real properties to be secured in such a way as to avoid exposure of the public to health and safety hazards. Motion seconded. Any questions? I have a question. So I thought I was under the impression that they were already going to appoint administrator they need us to do so no we're just not taking a chance if it doesn't get done in short order we give giving a town council the authority to go to court to force good. it to be done good okay perfect Thank excellent you. all those in favor unanimous okay, okay. Um,
we have uh, we are currently working with the cemetery trustees on uh, <laughs> work at the cemetery and uh, town council has dictated a, a memorandum which I've handed to all of you with regards to the cemetery uh, we have discovered and have been working with the former private cemetery association we've managed to pull all those records out uh, we would uh, like to petition cooperatively with the cemetery association to the probate court for the county to uh, take the funds that are in the cemetery association which are originally supposed to come to the town the association has been eliminated the charter has been eliminated by the secretary of state for failure to file there's only one living member of the association left so filing wouldn't be appropriate at this point um, we'd like to discontinue the association and take the funds with the association's approval and the court's approval and place those with the town trustees of trust funds in the expendable trust for maintenance of cemeteries we ask the board to approve that concept any questions i'll make that motion I'll second it. Uh, how, how much money is in there? Do we know? About one hundred and seventy thousand dollars. So a sizable amount of money. Wow. Is, is this a motion we need that's written here? Yes, sir. It is. So you want to? You you made the motion. motion. So. All right, hold on. To authorize the town attorney on behalf of the town to prepare the necessary joint petition with Eleanor Whitney, the association's retiring treasurer, for filing in the probate court to bring about the dissolution of the Hampton Cemetery Association and to transfer its funds, the trustees of trust funds, to be held in the Cemetery Maintenance Trust Fund. I also move. Excellent. I'll second. second. I have Any a question. questions? When did they uh, dissolve that association? How long uh, was that? The state dissolved it, apparently, in 1995, I don't know, 2005, I think. I have it here. Um, it was dissolved in... Um, 2015 was one 2000 well they they took the action in 2015 16 okay but um, they did administrative administrative suspension and avoided the charter is what they did so okay all right so we have a motion and second all those in favor unanimous okay that kind of concludes what I had uh, we are working on the rail trail agreement and I've given the board a memorandum to bring you up to date on where we are on that. Um, and I expect that we'll be replace, placing that on your next agenda. We're trying to get that finished, get it to you so you can do some, some thinking on that and see where we want to go with it. I, yes. I, I, I point out that I am in favor of the state buying the rail, the rail bed. Uh, as you know, we have protected it with zoning in this town so that it can only be used for transportation instead of building, selling a piecemeal. And hopefully that will come about because the state will have the funds to, to, to expend uh, to purchase it. Um, we also have sent out, we had uh, a few, not many, just a few, about 20 uh, properties in town that some prior public works directors had authorized the, those properties at the time we were making money off of recyclables, we're not anymore, uh, gave them um, refuse carts to deposit their recycling with our recycling vehicles. Uh, we're no longer making funds, so we are, we have notified them that we're going to discontinue that service and we're going to pick up those carts and put them back in service. So that's being done now. I got my letter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. Anything for the town manager's report, yes. Mary Louise? Yes, um, I do. And by the way, we never should have done that recycling in those condos but it comes back to bite you um it i does. agree with you on that rail trail but you said we're going to have a little more in-depth discussion because i have a few questions to i, think, I think the board has to i'm not going to spend some time now. digesting that entire yes. report yes and then we can talk about it in depth if you okay wish. um let's see The sewer user fees, and uh, are we going to have, you, I know that, that this has been a topic of discussion, uh, are we going to have a discussion with uh, Public Works on whether we do or do not do it, or how do you do it, or what, what, what will the 
You mean to build sewers separately? Yeah. That's something that the board is going to need to discuss if you want to move in that direction, but it also requires a vote of town meeting. Okay. At least a, on one subject within that, which is yeah. the bonded indebtedness as to whether or not it remains a general obligation bond of the town or whether or not yeah. it remains an obligation uh, of the sewer users. So somebody has to decide that. <clears throat> it's not critical to the entire matter. Um, but there will be a lot of fewer people paying for sewer. Um, there are several pros and cons. So I, I agree. Is the report? Wouldn't that be something on their business, new business yeah, or business. old business? It's under old business, yeah. So oh, okay. And something to bring up on an agenda item someday? Okay. Well, we can bring it up under old business. Any, okay. any board member has okay. a right to bring up something under old business. Absolutely. So, anything else, Mary Louise? No, thank you. Okay. Regina, on the manager's report? No, I'm good, thank you. Jim? I'm good. Rick? <clears throat> um, I just wanted to say, I, you know, I also got one of these uh, letters about the um, condo and I don't think that everybody that got the letters necessarily has been they I don't think all the condos have been using the recycling they may not some of them are some of them are not but we just want to make sure that we do collect yeah. the containers know, that are out there I know the one uh, the, the condo that I'm an owner of I don't believe that they do use it yeah some of them do some of them do not mm -hmm. we want to make sure we had the docket cleared completely yeah. hmm. The only thing I had was on the work on Ann's Lane. I, I, I've talked to a couple of people down there, and they seem to be a little ahead of where they thought they would be, and, oh, and, and yeah. things are going fine, So, which is good to hear. They so, are in advance of where they you know, thought it, it's, before. Uh, it's good to see that that road is getting actually completed and will be done. You know, good It'll time. have the primary coat on it and then the finished coat next year. The right. spring, right. right. Good okay. time of year. It is. That. Absolutely. Yeah. Actually, I wanted to say something about Anne's Lane because I, when I came back from Vermont, you know, they were like done for the day. But I got to tell you, just the way they put things away at night, I mean, I was up in Vermont and some of their roads up there aren't even nearly as in good as condition as Anne's Lane was when I got back and it was in the middle of construction. So I just wanted to thank all those guys for doing such a good job. Yeah, they seem to have been doing a great yeah. job over there.